can someone just alter their, their stress level on a psychological level by attempting to transform their belief system or thoughts and, and achieve the same results as using the option that we're presenting with, with hormone balancing or is it or is that not so? Ninety percent of the stress that we're discussing is physiologic. So simply changing a state of mind isn't going to have the impact that it would if you address the issue. If it's dietary, for instance, we discussed the four genetic predisposition and gluten is one of those components that there's an awareness of now that five, ten years ago people were just not aware that when they put that bread pasta cereal in their mouth and they felt some kind of discomfort or change in bowel activity. As a result, they didn't necessarily make the connection. Now there's a tremendous awareness and there's a tremendous amount of support as far as not just in the area of knowledge. There's a lot of product that's available today that wasn't available within the last few years. So in, in addressing these issues, there's a very eclectic fashion where the psychological is an important factor but it's the equivalent of tires on a car, it's not the whole vehicle. So you want to address all aspects and that's where a foundational diagnostic like this reduces the focus so you know what the possible um, involvements may be so you can address each one methodically. And by doing it in this particular fashion and addressing all of these issues, you, you see long-term resolve as opposed to a person temporarily feeling, feeling better or having a, a temporary shift as far as life quality is concerned. These are long-term changes that can take place.